Do you like niche YouTubers talking about niche topics? Do you like viral internet memes? Then you might already know Dracula Flow. Smoking fentanyl, lace cereal milk, I see God. Dracula Flow is a video series where John Davis Walker performs spoken word freestyle raps, which have gained a cult following for their surreal, often shocking content. While Dracula Flow's content is intentionally absurd and provocative, it has resonated with many viewers, creating a viral sensation on platforms like YouTube. We straight gassing, cutting straight to the bricks. I'm a fan of Dracula Flow, and when I saw he collaborated with Churdleys, I followed him on Instagram. He followed me back and he sent me a video. This is pretty standard behavior for internet grind culture. One way to increase your reach is to send your content to tons of people. I've done it. I used to do it back in the day. So I complimented him on Dracula Flow and he thanked me. It was a very normal and pleasant interaction. Then he sends me his GoFundMe. He's trying to raise money to get this project off the ground. And I'm like, okay, I'm broke. I'm just gonna ignore this. He's probably messaging the same thing to hundreds of people and he won't even notice. Then he follows up. He asks me for the donation receipt. Like, okay, now I have to respond. I say, sorry, John, I love your work, but I'm too broke to donate right now. Surely he'll understand. He's probably been a young, broke adult before and he'll just leave me alone. Nope. He threatens to block me. I'm a little caught off guard by this. I've never experienced hostility in response to honesty, so I just explain my feelings and try to send him on his way. This isn't how you build a loving and loyal fan base, but best of luck to you and your project. It's at this point I'm expecting to disengage, but he returns. Like you would know anything about building a fan base. Why would I want a cheap bunch of Man. assholes like you? Should I just go ahead and block you? Here? He has a point. John has way more followers and views than I do. Threatening to block me again, he has officially lost his chance at ever getting a donation from me in the future. You know, I might have donated to you before you started being rude for no reason. Go frick yourself, man. Now this is getting so absurd, I'm starting to think I missed the joke. I think he's just being an asshole as a character, like Dracula Flow. Okay, this is actually kind of funny, but he blocked me. He actually blocked me. Maybe he was just having a bad day. Maybe he woke up on the wrong side of the bed and he was just taking his anger out on me. But this isn't the case. My buddy Drew also had an interaction with him. When I told Drew what happened to me, Drew said John was also asking him for a donation. So I suggested Drew Photoshop a donation receipt and send it to him, see what happens. This doesn't fly with John. He clowns on Drew hard. He calls him a broke man, loser, broke man, bricks the works. How much do you hate it knowing I have a GoFundMe and you don't even have five dollars? So clearly this is a pattern for John. If he doesn't get what he wants, he just blocks you. And maybe he's doing something right. This is obviously working for him because his GoFundMe now has over $16,000. Maybe there's something to be learned here. Just be rude and harass people and you'll get thousands of dollars. But what's more valuable? $16,000? or kindness. Sure, $16,000 would help out my financial situation a lot, but then after I would invest some and spend some, then what? I'm still me and I still wipe my ass from back to front. So when interacting with people online, perhaps we should try to be more conscious of the person on the other side of the screen. Or try not to take it personally when someone's rude to you online. Maybe they're just having a bad day. Or maybe they're an ego crazy narcissist. Try not to take it personally. I just thought this was a fun story and I wanted to share. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, send me money. Send me money, broke ass bitch and send me the Venmo receipt, and then maybe I'll follow you back.